Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I'm back in Adam's shop. It's time to finish, I hope, the desk today. I've built the top, I've cut the legs, I've started welding. I came back in the shop in the last week and did a ton more practice welds. Uh, you can see them right here and they're looking better every time. They're still not good. I, I don't anticipate spending the time at this to get good and proficient. I'm just gonna get good enough to do the project that I want. Um, as before, this is watching me learn how to do something new. It's not educational. Don't, don't use this to learn how to do something. There are plenty of other great people on the web that do that kind of stuff. Uh, but people had asked to see kind of what the process is when we're trying to pick up a new skill. So this is how I do it. It's probably wrong. Um, as before, this video was brought to you by Tested Premium Members. Uh, we're using the money raised in Tested Premium Membership to do more different kinds of content. This is just the first of those types of content. We're gonna do lots more ex experimentation. Next week, we're starting a daily series of uh, a completely different kind of video. So make sure you come back to test it and check that out. Uh, and uh, thank you all for watching as before. I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully finish up this desk. So I did some practice welds. I ended up actually assembling uh, the bottom parts of both legs. But I think in order to make sure that this whole thing's gonna be level when it's done, I need to build the frame for the top first and then attach the legs to the top so that I have enough wiggle room that I can make adjustments that are necessary and fill in holes and all that stuff. Uh, so next order of business is grinding down the welds on the top, maybe touching them up a little bit because they're kind of crappy by my new standards. Um, and then uh, building the frame for the top, making sure it fits in the actual desktop, which I have over there and uh, uh, then attaching the legs. So I'm gonna start grinding. So when I actually grind down these, these beads a little bit, I had good penetration on more of them than I thought. Um, and I may not even, even touch them up. Like there's this one, this one up here could probably use a little bit of help and maybe this one, um, but they're, they're okay. So here's the desktop, uh, here's the two boxes I've made. These are the, the horizontal spar, spar pieces. Um, what I have to do is figure out how much I need to grind off so that they'll be the right distance. And right now it looks like it's like an eighth of an inch maybe on each one. It's not, not very far, uh, so it should be fairly straightforward and just take me a minute or two on the bench grinder here. So I still have a fair amount of material to grind off on this other end. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more off here and kind of polish this up so it looks nice. And then we'll do the other end and take off some real material. Okay, how much space does this one need to lose? that is a lot. It's not square though. Let's see. So it's basically an eighth on either side, I think. I might actually just cut this. It'll take forever to grind. Okay, so I changed my grinding wheel off to a, a four inch cutting wheel or four and a half inch cutting wheel. Uh, these things scare the hell out of me because I mean, basically it's like an enormous Dremel spinning at four or 5,000 RPMs. And I, I don't want this to explode on me. So I'm gonna be real careful and you know, stay, keep the machine between me and the cut and you know, wear proper safety protection and all that stuff. Uh, here we go. Uh, these things are fairly big magnets embedded in at a right angle. So what you can do is use them to make sure that your stuff is square before and then after you clamp it down. And I think they can even stay in place while you're welding probably, but I don't generally do that since it's not my stuff. Um, so what, I'm, what I've done is I laid out the frame here and I'm gonna tack all four corners um, and then check to make sure it still fits uh, and then uh, go finish the welds and probably make a horrible mess, but you know such as the price of progress. So I've got uh, four reasonably good tack welds. I'm gonna go check and make sure this still fits on my desk. And then if it does, uh, I'm gonna finish up the welds and, and uh, uh, probably go get a burrito or something. Is it that this is in or do I need to sand a little bit down here? There we go. Uh-oh, I broke loose down on that end. That's not good. 
Okay, this is good enough though. I'm gonna take it back and weld it. Okay, so I've, I've built the top frame of the desk. It's as square as I think I'm capable of making it. I've got it all welded. The welds aren't pretty. I, I am fully aware of that, but they are, they look clean. Uh, they don't have oxidation and I look like I've gotten good penetration between the two pieces. So I feel confident that they're gonna hold together. And that kind of holds up when I've ground the first couple down. Uh, I'm gonna grind the rest of these, touch them up uh, if needed. And then I'm gonna go back to working on the legs and hopefully at the point at which I join the legs to the frame, I'll be able to make any adjustments I need in order to make the whole thing level. That is not bad. I mean, for me, I'm sure somebody who's good can do a lot better. So that's the top frame. Um, it's, it's done, it's heavy. I sh should have probably used thinner gauge steel, but oh well. Um, I figured the thicker gauge would be more forgiving when I was learning because I had less chance of eating through the metal. Uh, I'm gonna put this down for a little bit, make sure it's flat, maybe find a piece of flat floor someplace. And then I'm gonna finish up the legs and hopefully attach the legs to the sides um, all in one fell swoop. So that's all the grinding on the legs. If they lay flat, um, which it seems like they're doing, I, I can start moving on to the next part of the legs, which is the tricky part. If I don't get this right, then the, the table will be wobbly or it won't be stable or it'll just look weird and I don't want any of those things. So uh, continuing with the legs. So I thought about order of operations a lot when I was doing this, and I eventually ended up deciding that I would do the, the top frame, you know, the top place of the desk rests and the legs separately. And then I could put the legs upside down or, or put the, the top vertical on the table, clamp it down real good, and then weld the legs on there. I'm thinking that might've been a mistake now. I don't know if it was a terrible mistake, but I'm worried about, and I did it that way because I, I knew I would have a hard time welding the legs onto the frame because that would have to be upside down and one of those pieces would have to be suspended and that's a hard thing to do. Um, and probably dangerous too when I think about how welding works. Um, but I didn't really account for how do I get this level with this when this is the is the frame of the, of the desk. Um, and I'm having to do a little bit of thinking here. So maybe the smart thing to do would have been made, make it three pieces, but the, the construction required to make that happen seemed much harder than what I'm doing now. So uh, here we go. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use a square, this big ridiculous square. And that looks pretty good. I mean, I think that's, that is a thing that I can work with if I get it close. That's, I think that's the key is getting it close. I'm proud of that one. That's the only one really so far. The others are, you know, these will hold. They're ugly. I made a big mess, but there's metal, gluing metal together. This one, that's, that's real money right there. Okay, so before I weld legs onto the tabletop, uh, which is right there, uh, I'm gonna make sure that the, the angles that matter actually line up. The, some of them are not gonna match at all, which is totally fine, um, but it's important that the big V, this, this guy to this guy, uh, lines up on both. Here's the back one, it's still really hot because I just finished welding it. Um, but that is pretty good. There's a little bit of a difference up here on the top. I can probably fix that with grinding. It may not even be necessary to do anything to fix it um, because I, I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of filling or a little bit of finagling with this last piece to get it, uh, to get it lined up right. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stick one of these bad boys on. Yeah, close enough. That is something I can fix with feet. That's still hot. OK, 
Okay, one clamp is on. I'm going to do two just for good measure here. So I don't want this coming down on me while, I'm, while I've got electricity running through it. So this is an important moment to make sure I get the legs lined up the right way. Because what I don't want, well, I don't want a couple of things. I don't want one leg to be cattywampus from the other. But I also don't want to put one leg on frontwards and one leg on backwards. Because that would be really dumb and the whole table would not work and I would be sad. Um, however, this looks like it's going to work reasonably well. I'm going to have to move, um, I have to move the whole thing in some. Heavy for one man, though. Probably. So the other day, when I was here practicing to hedge my bets, I um, drilled a few holes in the feet because I figured it'd be easier to put them on the drill press before they were welded to anything than to do it with a hand drill afterwards, or to try to wedge up one of these enormous legs into the drill press. Um, so that way, if I need to, I can tap them and put those, put those uh, uh, adjustable feet in. But I don't think it's going to be necessary. It's pretty, it's a little bit wobbly. Just a little bit, though. I may be able to just fix it with felt feet, which I'll need anyway, so I don't destroy my hardwood. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Oh. oh, the dummy's in my way. Ah. Oh. Fred Sanford. Yes. Okay. Uh, desk isn't on straight, obviously. I need to do a little bit of sanding in a place with more room. Okay, so let's, let's call that a success. I'm gonna put some felt feet on there. I think that's probably enough to take care of any tiny amount of wobble I have. The desk is a little tiny bit wobbly. I'm not sure what I'll do about that. I, I mean, it may not be a problem in practice because there's not gonna really be a whole lot on here. I'm gonna use monitor mounts uh, to hang the monitors on the wall. So all that'll really be on here is a keyboard mouse and some speakers and headphones and stuff like that. Um, I am super stoked at how this has turned out so far. Uh, there's a fair amount of work to still to be done, but I don't think it's stuff that's gonna look good on video. So I'll probably do it uh, in a series of blog posts on Tested. Uh, I've got to finish the, the keyboard tray, which is super simple. Uh, do the finishing on the on the wood, and then I got to decide what I'm going to do with the metal. I might take it, and send it, send it off someplace, and have it painted or coated or something. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do about that yet. Uh, but but so thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for supporting Tested. Uh, if you're a premium member, this content is is brought to the internet by you. So uh, thank you so much. We'll be back next week with a new series, uh, something a little bit different. I think you'll like it. Uh, until then, uh, I'm Will from Tested. See you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching.